I'm from Barcelona. I live and work there and I'm a sound artist. So yeah, I feel in a transition between performing arts and installation work. I did a lot of performing with solo pieces or with dancers, with theater, with moving images. The last years I've been working more and more with installation work. The, my last installation was I was still working with the instrument, I was still having eight saxophones on stage and performing them. Here, it's my first installation where I don't have the instrument on stage. It's a big installation that it has 4,200 cables and more than 210 LEDs. All the LEDs are uh, inside the cables and they light, they spark light with uh, sound. So each sound is triggers a light. And the way I compose this installation is by measuring my brain activity. So I had a sensor on my brain, on my head. It was an encephalogram. It was measuring the brain activity. And based on that, I composed the music. So in a way, the sound and the light is showing how neurons are working inside the brain. I was researching on ways how to structure power and uh, I like this idea of how neurons are connecting between them and how they distribute power in a horizontal way and not a hierarchical way. And there I started learning how to use electronics and soldering and LEDs and Arduinos and all this kind of stuff. And this is kind of an evolution of that. But for me, it's new to work with wood, to work with planning a big installation, to suspend it, to, to sketch it before, to work with color, which we are not so used to from performing arts. And here at Bay Music, it, it has been so great to work with all these visual artists so they can inspire and give you feedback all the time. Yeah, actually, I decided the structure uh, back in Spain before coming. I make a lot of sketches. Then once here, I was researching how to make all the holes. So we had to make 14,200 holes on the wood to pass the wires. And I found the MCC, the Metropolitan Community College. The, they have a prototype, new prototype design lab where they have a lot of machines, a lot of equipment. They had a CNC that was capable to do these large pieces. So I just worked there for a week. I, uh, I get a machine printing the sheets and making the holes for me, so we didn't have to do that manually. So one thing that surprised me is that I like the, the installation that although it creates this kind of center action, so it feels that everything is centered, once it plays and it, the sound and the light kind of decenter the experience. So actually the sound kind of goes out of the installation and actually you can enjoy it even more if you walk around and not inside. I work a lot on visualizing sound. I like a lot to build objects or ways to visualize sound on stage for a better understanding of experimental music in many ways. Normally when you have visual elements working with sound, they, are, they tend to be understood as sound accompanying the visual and that's something I want to fight against and to have both in an equal level, the visual and the sonic experience. And also because I come from performing arts, I always see the installations as performative, so they perform by themselves, they are kind of organic. And I try that they don't loop and they don't repeat, but they generate and they go forward and, and they have a life and they create an experience for the audience.